Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good lunch. Thank you. All right, got a lot to share in today's video, but as we, we finally got a catering. I'll talk about that. Let's do Dash along the way. I've been spending time at McDonald's, like whatever. I'll do it. Make money before we're going to make the real money with the DoorDash app. I'll take it. Listen, welcome back to Mr. Bet on You. Yesterday, man, was wild with the app. I didn't see nothing, but we did pull a Cracker Barrel. Let's talk about it. Day four of Delivered That. We are at Cracker Barrel in Fenton, Missouri. A uh, 21-minute ride from my house. I didn't get any offers after I dropped the one yesterday that I got in the afternoon from Deliver That. Not even an offer hit my screen till this morning. I got people sending me stuff from St. Louis like, oh, look at this, look at this. I'm going to drop it. Maybe you'll see it. Nada. Crickets. Nothing. Zilch. Niet. Nothing. But I got one this morning. So I said, I'm just going to take this bad boy because I want to start my day. $10 commission. Um, three miles, so it's going to take me six minutes, I think, to get there. And the drop-off is going back in the direction where I live, and there's it's a zone I work in, so it actually works out for me really good. Obviously, I'm here a little early. I did a little dash along the way. I did pick up two McDonald's. I put the earnings here on those. I think every day I've done dash along the way, I've done Mickey D's. Every It's always been McDonald's, so I'll take it. It is what it is. These aren't paying a lot of money, but these are going in the distance I got to go anyway. So it's just a quick detour. So 400 and something dollars worth of food. It, it says this, this is a second priority delivery or this is, I don't know how they stay worded, but I'll put it here. Like it's just, it's an important one. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's because of the item, the subtotal or the frequency in which this customer orders from Easy Cater. Could be it. I'm a newbie. They're they're giving me these kind of big deal orders. I'll do it. Whatever. 400 bucks. This is basically paying to 10 plus at least 21. So at least $31 could be 38 plus the 11 we've made already. Pretty nice day to start. Pretty good way to start the day. Uh, hopefully I get more for tomorrow. I like to do, like I said, at least one a day. This is my fifth order because I did two yesterday on delivered that I'm learning the app. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Crackle Barrel, historically on DoorDash, has long wait times. I have no idea what to expect. I would have loved to get one from the taco joint that we've been doing business with, but I don't know. If I got to wait, they're going to pay me, I think, every 15 minutes you get five bucks. I don't want that. I want it to be ready. I don't want the $5. I, I know I want to start doing my, my, my on-demand gig work, DoorDash, Instacart, Curry, sooner. I don't want to wait. Let's go inside and see how long this takes. Welcome back to Mr. Bet on You, day four. Undelivered that. All right, obviously we're gonna grab our bags. I got actually two other, I actually got three of these. So I got, the other, I got a roll, the other ones are rolled up in here. So we'll grab these bad boys here, I'm not sure. Uh, we're here, Cracker Barrel. It's been a long time since I've eaten at this establishment. You guys like Cracker Barrel? I don't know, food's okay, I guess. I don't, I don't know, it, whatever, I don't get it. Oh, what you ask? Oh, this is I was right. Thank you. Yes. Cracker Barrel, they got all the, the, the stuff. They got all the things. As soon as I walked in, she goes, you here for the eat, the to go, easy cater? Yeah, Ross the names. So they're on it. She walkie talkied somebody. So uh, she'll be coming up here shortly, I guess. All right, she goes, well, you're a little early, so they're working on it. I said, yeah, no problem. I didn't know what the process was like here. First time I've been here. She goes, yeah, they're working on it now. They're going to be ready as soon as, you know. She said, I'm 20 minutes early. <laughs> I am early. You don't want to be too early, but I, I don't know what the process. I just wanted to check in, right? Because one thing I know about, about, about restaurants, especially busy ones, they might have a time, depending on what other things they got going on, what other caterings they have going on, how busy their in dining room is going to be. They know they had this catering days ago, weeks ago, yesterday, whatever, right? So they might bring in extra people to get these things ready and they have certain, like it's, it could be done earlier than the pickup time in some cases. Other cases, it might be longer. So so it doesn't mean I'm going to like drop it off early, but if I could get it and have it, right? It, I don't know, it's beneficial. I think it's beneficial. Plus I didn't know what the process was like, right? Uh, you, it's better to be early than to be late. And... With stuff like this, because you might have traffic issues, there's a highway here, there could be an accident, there could be construction. 
it's giving me six minutes to get there because it's only three miles right down the road. But you want to give yourself some time with these caterings. You, it's better if, listen, if you're on time, you're late. With restaurant and the restaurant industry, if you're on time, you are late. I want to remind y'all of that. This ain't on demand. This ain't McDonald's. This ain't the same DoorDash, right? So you could be a little bit early. You don't want to be too early, obviously, but you, I, th I think it's okay to be a little bit early. I, I do believe that 15 minute thing, which is what the app gives you, you just can't, in the app, you can't like drop it off 15 minutes earlier now. You can't depart from it. That's what I've been told. So anyways, long intro to this video, but listen, I like, I, I'm sharing this experience with you guys. We're at the Cracker Barrel. We're going to wait about another uh, 15 minutes or so. I'll go back inside. Should be ready then. $400 worth of stuff. Let's go. Wolf, wolf. Y'all won't believe what that lady told me. But let's go drop this off. We'll talk about two things I'm seeing with this app that, uh, not necessarily an issue, but like things that I've run into. And then this is the first time, well, second time with this one. And I'm going to talk about what I've seen other people do when I've seen them pick up the caterings on this app as far as the signature goes. But let's drop these off and I'll get to that at the end. Okay. All right, let's set this bad boy up like Speedy Gonzalez. Put you on a 2X speed. This was super easy, Cracker Barrel. But I'm not happy with them, and I'm going to say why. But first, we got to set this bad boy up. Very, very, very easy. Boom. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good lunch. Thank you. I wish I would have filmed, you know what, I film with my device. I don't have a GoPro or anything strapped to me. So it, sometimes I get a more, it's a different, my POV is different, which is okay. But I sometimes film and sometimes don't, but my interactions with people, like I'm not just gonna whip a phone out in front of this, this person at Cracker Barrel, right? So the, the one lady in the front counter, you might've saw her in a clip. She was a lady that was like catching people out and doing things in that little store there at the Cracker Barrel, it was real nice. That was my first interaction. And then two women came out, they had the stuff on the cart and they were like, yeah, you got the order. It's everything here. I just got to grab a bag, of, a thing of chicken. And then another girl comes with a box of chicken. Um, I was like, yeah, it's great. And I was like, this is everything, right? She goes, yeah. She goes, you can use the cart if you want. And I didn't want to use the cart because I, I knew I could carry it. And there was a threshold. Um, anyways, I didn't want to like, I felt like it could tip over. I just wanted to hold it. There was box handles. Uh, and they were fine with that. It wasn't a big deal. They just offered it. Um, I said, no, I, you know, I got it. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys, you know, your effort. I didn't say that. I, th I just said, thank you. I, you know, I know this is a big order. Thank you. And I said, can you guys sign this for me for the app? And she looked at me dead in my eyes and said, we don't sign. I said, oh, I, I was told that I got to get a signature from you guys when I pick it up. We don't sign. And she was rude about it. She, you know, she didn't just say like, oh, well, you know, we don't sign for this reason or, um, oh, I'm sorry, we, you know, we don't sign because whatever, we don't sign. We don't sign, told me twice. I said, okay. And I wasn't going to argue with her, wasn't going to whatever. In the notes section of the app, I put, you know, customer or no, merchant or whatever refused to sign. What do you guys do with that? No, I, you know, not a big deal. There's got to be reasons for it. Not sure why, but she said it very adamantly like she's had issues before. But the app requires a signature. The first one from Quesadilla Global Company, the guy also said, oh, I don't have to sign anything. That was on my first one. I, I referenced that. And then the orders from the taco joints I've done, they sign, no problem. My delivered app people, what do you do? I will say this. One of the catering guys I met that does deliver that, I was talking to him. He had an order when I was doing that stack on, was that yesterday? Yep. And he didn't have the guy sign. He was on delivered that. We talked about it because he got he had a couple of orders that I dropped that he was going to do that day. And I, I physically saw him get the bags from the guy, had his phone in his hand, didn't sign anything. We were talking a little bit. I'm pretty sure I saw him sign it himself. So I would imagine some catering drivers out there are signing the thing themselves just for speed or because a merchant told me today we don't sign she looked me dead in my eyeballs and i said oh well the app you know 
I've been told that you guys are supposed to sign or I don't even know what I said because I was like, because she was so rude about it. We don't sign. She just stared me down like I asked her for her mother's maiden name and her firstborn child. Y'all know me. I'm petty. Now, I kept it. I kept it. I kept it cool. I was like, oh, no problem. I'm cool. I'm out of here. I didn't say that, but I'm thinking, let me just get out of here and get this, you know, the people at the drop off. Super awesome. Very, very, very nice. I'm sure I'll see him again. I'll say this. Y'all know me. I'm petty. I won't go back to Cracker Barrel. It's not close to my house. Uh, I'm driving more. I had to drive more. I didn't get any orders yesterday. Crickets, like the beginning of the video. Crickets, nothing until this morning I happened to get that one. And I, I, knew, I told myself, I'm just, one came in, I missed it. That one came in, I accepted it, and I did it. But it's a far drive, 20 minutes out of my way. Now, when I dropped it off, it left me in the area, and I was able to dash. I made some money. I'm happy with my earnings today, not complaining. But that Cracker Barrel lady, I'm good. You don't want to sign my thing? You want to give me a little bit of sass? Somebody else, somebody else will do your deliveries for you won't be this guy but i like to try to go to places because i want to see what the experience is like with the pickup with the drop off with how they do it what what kind of boxes are they using what do they need for me i like to build relationships but listen i don't need to do business with cracker barrel there's going to be other opportunities so they lost me as a uh deliver that easy cater driver i'm good the way she looked at me she looked like like she was like like offended no i don't want to talk to you like like she was offended that I asked her to sign something. Deliver that, pros, vets. What do you do in that situation? Has that happened to you? That's the video. Tomorrow, I'm gonna, you know, I've, I've made more money. I haven't seen any other offers from Deliver That, but uh, I did do a curry run. I tried to, that was trash. Talk about that later. I'm gonna do a ranking of any, all the apps in the gig economy I've worked. I'm gonna rank them. Basically, I'm gonna give them a grade, A through F. I'm gonna do that this weekend probably. Tomorrow, I should see earnings from the deliveries I've done this week. I think it's Wednesday and Friday. So I think the ones I've done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and today. Do I have earnings information tomorrow for that? I'll do a, a breakdown of the week, the earnings, what they what the tips wind up being in the video tomorrow. Sorry for the long outro. Just, you know, not a big deal. She didn't want to sign, but it was more like, we don't sign here. We don't sign. Lady, get over yourself. Like, there's a better way to, I know you might have been busy, but like, I ain't the one. And you lost me. And I'm going to do a good job with these caterings. I'm going to give great service. I'm going to set it up. I'm going to be timely. I'm going to be on time. I'm going to do everything right. But you lost Mr. Bet on you, Cracker Barrel. Wasn't a fan of your company anyway. I haven't been there forever. I don't like the vibes in Cracker Barrel. It's just me. Not my cup of tea. Y'all tell me what you think in the comment section down below. I'll see you manana.